Michael Jackson, the king of pop, whom I don't have to give a summary about, thank God. Okay, in this video, I will reveal some of the most talked about conspiracies and media stories. Okay, it's been rumored that Michael Jackson may have sold his soul to the devil or was sacrificed and or groomed to be the child slash puppet of the devil. I also realized that you can hear him sing about the devil in many of his songs. It dates back to when he was younger. You all remember the song Boogie? Well, in that song, he states that the devil got into him and that made him dance. He talks about this again in another song, whereas he blatantly admits that the devil gifted him with money. It seems that Michael Jackson was in fact controlled by the devil's demons. Because, do note that the devil doesn't require a soul, because he's immortal, remember? However, his demons do. So when stars, and do note that I do like some of their songs, but I will never go to their concerts, because I do believe hidden messages and underlying spells can be casted through their music at those concerts, which cause people to act weird and even more possessed and obsessed by them. Now, back to what I was saying. It seems that these celebrities such as Adele, Madonna, Carrie Underwood, Coldplay, Beyonce, and so on, they are all being used by the devil's demons to lure more souls to hell, to allow the demons to roam the earth. Do I believe that they know that they're being used? Yes, I do believe some of them know that they're being used, and some of them are completely oblivious to the fact. Okay? Now, you see, Michael Jackson really felt like he was a god. He felt this way because the deal he had with the devil that made him believe this. The devil made him believe that he was the chosen one, the anointed. Now, do note that the devil is an angel, although he's not in heaven anymore. So he does have the power to give people the gifts of dance, infatuation, and the voice to hypnotize. After all, he was the angel of music, remember? As I said in some of my earlier videos, and I will leave the link below so you can see them as well. Now, but do I believe that he gifted Michael with the gift of dance and the voice to hypnotize? Well, yes and no. Yes, I do believe that he did use Michael already gifted gifts to his advancements and made him better and magical. So, yes. Did in fact, <laughs> Michael did in fact get used by the devil, as I stated earlier. That was brought forth by his father, and he later tried to go against, but later accepted, and then regret, and then tried to exploit that finally killed him. Now, with the help, of course, with one of the devil's head puppets, Tommy Matola. Yeah, his name just keep popping around just like Clive Davis, huh? <laughs> Okay, I know the media would like for us to believe this. Well, in their eyes, all the greats are child molesters or rapists, especially black greats. But the only difference is, is that when they say an African American is rumored to be a child molester or rapist, he's marked and ruined for life. But any other race, they're hardly talked about or scrutinized. Now, getting back to the point. Do I believe that Michael Jackson was a child molester? No, I don't. I do believe that, and I've said this many times as well in my videos, that when a person is robbed as a child of their childhood, they become psychologically damaged that causes them to act like a child later in their life. However, some only like childish games and fun like Michael and Beyonce too. Now. There are some that are so psychologically damaged whereas to the point of being psychotic, but these individuals are also victims of sex abuse, violence, and God only knows what else. So their behavior and acts are often resulting to child molestation and other sick things. You see, Michael made it blatantly aware that he likes women, grown women, and he makes it also blatantly clear in his videos, songs, and live performances. Mike was a freak, y'all. Also, note that he only put up the facade of talking like a child, you know, just pretty much in interviews, and that's probably brought forth from his childhood and being psychologically damaged and thinking he is a child. Well, it, he gets put in a child place, especially when he's feeling vulnerable, nervous, and scared. He really has a very deep voice. Okay, and he was also a fan and wanted to date Beyonce back in the day. <laughs> but who didn't, okay? But Jay Z grabbed her first. Take a look at this video. Were you aware 
aware that Jordan Chandler or his family on his behalf filed a litigation, a lawsuit against you? Yes. To your knowledge, Mr. Jackson, um, were you ever accused of having sexually molested Brett Barnes? We'll answer that. Answer that one. To your knowledge, were you ever accused of having sexually molested Macaulay? Oh, that's an instruction not to answer on that one. Let me ask you this. Do you recognize the uh, handwriting on these two sheets? Yes. Do you know whose handwriting it is? It's mine. Do you know what these documents are? Yeah. What is this? Um, crazy stories that people have uh, created. Things I wanted to set straight in an interview. Do you know with whom this interview was? The next, I think it could have been Diane Sawyer, whatever the interview was that I wanted to do. I wanted to set the record straight. Have people here lie long enough people believe it, that people have lied on me. I'm a black American and I'm proud of it. And I'm honored of it. The bleach skin rumor, which is a rumor, I don't bleach my skin. They, say, they once said I wanted a white kid to play me as a child, which was a rumor. <laughs> uh, inauguration rumor, saying I didn't want to do President Clinton's inauguration. I'm not gay. Uh, this is, don't judge a person unless you have spoken to them one-on-one, -on -one, which, which is true, because uh, what you hear is a lie, uh, untrue. I can't make out this part there. It is illegible in portions, that's true. And Jesus said to love the children and be like children, be youthful and be innocent and be pure and honorable. He was talking to his apostles, and they were fighting over who's the greatest among themselves, and he said, Whoever humbled yourself like this child is the greatest among you. And he always surrounded himself like with children. And that's how I was raised, to believe and to be like that and to imitate that. So I don't know what you're trying to make of. You you had sex with Debbie. Yes. I know that's difficult for you for me to say because you're yeah, so embarrassed. Right <laughs> but you you actually had sex with her. You can see yes. those children. Yes. I wanted him to be a father. I believe that there are people who should be parents, and he's one of them. And he is such a fabulous man and such a good friend, and he's always been there for me, always, from the day I met him. I could do something for him, and this is what I wanted to do. When did Michael start talking about wanting to have kids? Wanting was this when he was still with Lisa Marie? Or? No, they had um, they had broken up, and I was trying to console him because he was really upset, and he was upset that he said he really wanted to be a dad, and I said, "So be a dad." And he looked at me puzzled, and I said, "Let me do this. I want to do this." You've been so good to me. You're such a great friend. Please let me do this. I said, you need to be a dad. I want to do this. And you know, I nagged him into it, if you will. We were very excited. Michael was definitely more excited than I was. You know, he was so excited when we had a contraction. And he was there. We had videos, we had music, you know, and it was long. 
almost 23 hours. I've never seen a man happy. And that's, that, that's what made it wonderful for me, was to see the look on his face. Did you cry when Prince was born? Yes. Can you just tell me what happened? Can you remember how? Of course. He came out with his really big head. As soon as I saw his head, I thought of my grandfather and my brother Randy. Because his head was shaped just like theirs. And I said, oh my God. My father had blue eyes, you know, and um, when they see Paris, they always think, Debbie, that, that could easily be my father's genes, you know. Really? Of course. I was kind of told we should wait, you know, I guess there's a waiting, a suggested waiting time, but I was flying to Paris all the time. It's actually how she got her name. It's where she was conceived. Yeah, she did it for me. She did it for me.